Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a message for September 4th, 2020 for all signs. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let's go ahead and invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and our ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages that we need to hear for September 4th, 2020. I have to tell you guys, I was laying in bed, finishing up a really long day, and I love reading for you guys. I absolutely love reading for you guys. But something got me up out of bed and said, you need to do this reading. So there's a very important message here for somebody. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. What messages need to come out for the collective? The High Priestess. Look at that, that Nine of Cups. I, th I feel like it's come out every day this week, the Hierophant. Wow. And the Seven of Cups in reverse. Wow. Some of you guys are gaining extreme clarity. And it's it's due to this Pisces full moon energy that you have to walk away from some sort of commitment. But you've 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 got you you have the clarity, you've received the download that you need. You know what you have to do. Seven of Cups, you've moved through confusion. You've done the grounding work. You know what you have to do. Seven of Cups takes us back to the Six of Cups. That could be soulmate energy. Whatever this is that you have to move away from, you're moving towards your soulmate or someone from your past. Overall energy is the Empress in reverse. Yeah, because whatever you're doing, whatever you've received this download this clarity, extreme clarity on an issue, on a relationship, on a job, whatever it might be. It's something that you have a contract or a commitment to. For many of you, you may be in a karmic situation. You're feeling depleted. Some of you might find yourself, so, um, you know, indulging, overindulging as a way to sort of numb this feeling because you know you're not in the right situation you're in a situation that doesn't resonate with you and you have to walk away from it to bring yourself joy for some of you there may be children involved but for many of you this has to do with a soulmate energy the hierophant is about is about conformity um, it's about um, doing what's conventional it's about large organizations maybe government jobs things like that but it can also represent marriage or any sort of karmic contract. Now, it doesn't all have to be romantic, although we do have, you know, the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Some of you guys, you didn't, you knew that something needed to change. And some of you might have even sort of tightened up on the behavior, whether it was like drinking, maybe you found yourself, you know, hitting the wine every night. Maybe you found yourself not taking care of yourself physically or getting enough sleep or something like that, not taking care of your appearance. And I think you're starting to correct that, but that's the result of something deeper here that's going on. Something deeper that you have to walk away or move away from. It's not love for all of you. But the Empress is because you're not aligned. You're not in the space. Uh, this You're not in alignment with what you need and what you want. And so, yeah, you need to trust your intuition, trust your dreams Seven of Cups in reverse, you guys are, are receiving lots of messages in the dream space, but your intuition, I feel like, you know, I feel like alarm bells have been going off for some time and you're getting it. You're finally seeing something here and it, and it came with this Pisces full moon energy. Absolutely 100% came with this Pisces full moon. Some of you are working with manifesting by writing. I'm just I just see like journaling and journaling. 
Yeah, but the Seven of Cups is confusion and that in reverse, you're breaking through the confusion. You might be choosing something. You might have been trying to make a decision between two people, two jobs, two places, two situations, or it could be, you know, family life versus work. You know, are you working to live or do you live to work? But you, you're sort of cutting through the facade. You know, it, the, the shiny things aren't necessarily attracting you you're able to hone in on really what is for your highest good, what you really want here. Yeah, because that Empress energy, that's Taurus. It's Venusian energy, Taurus or Libra. You also have Pisces or Cancer for me or even Scorpio. Um, all the very highly intuitive water signs coming through with the High Priestess energy, but lots of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces and Taurus again. Soulmates, yep. See, I knew I got out of bed for something. <laughs> Who doesn't get out of bed for soulmates or for love? Take a look at this. And I want you to look at the Hierophant card. We have the angel. It looks a lot like the lover's card, right? I mean, the, the Hierophant always has accolades, his two acolytes. But then look here, we have that angel and we have these two penguins. The Seven of Cups in reverse takes me back to the Six of Cups. Many of you guys are on the Soulmate Twin Flame journey. And you have received a super download, lots of clarity. And for, for many of you, you might have, this might, I'm getting, they're showing me getting out of bed, that you guys waking up from a dream and writing stuff down for some of you. For others, others of you, you're going to feel like you've been in a haze or you've been in a dream, maybe even fighting against, you know, the flow or being in a situation that doesn't resonate with you. And it's like, it's like the, the, the haze, the fog is lifted. Never ending story. Yeah, look at that. I mean, just look at this person. 37 breaks down to a 10. And before that, we have 41, which breaks down to a 5. Fives are about conflict. They're about change. But something here has to come to an end. It's not going to be an easy ending. But the only way to get off of this karmic wheel is to take that inspired action. And you're and 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 then for a lot of you, I'm even stuttering. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's late. Um a lot of you, this is this is the haze that you've been in. And you, and you didn't find the solution. You didn't know what the solution was, but the solution is coming, something having to do with this Pisces full moon. Many of you, it's going to be in the dream space and you wake up, you jump out of bed to grab a pen to write it down. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> because of this. 26 breaking down to an 8. What does that say down there? Happy, happy. This is about your happiness. This is, for many of you, this is a faded union. This isn't going to resonate with all of us, but this is something that's going to get you up out of bed. And for many of you, you're waking up, you get an answer, you receive a download, this clarity that is going to take you from this to this. Wow. <laughs> you guys. You guys. Coming into union. Happiness. Remember yesterday as well. You know, this seems to be continuing a theme. There's, you know, there's a higher purpose for this union. But it's also, you know, your, your sacred destiny is to love and to be loved. And anything other or less than that isn't going to resonate with you. And it's not. And I don't think you, to you, you can tolerate it anymore. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Two tens. Karmic completion. Something needs to end. 
Now, not for all of you is it like a third party situation, like where you're in, you know, but this contract could be with, you know, your job. Maybe you work overseas or you work away from this person or your family. Okay. It could be a cycle of healing that needs to come to, to, a, to a close for you as well. But you're getting the information that you seek. The clarity is here. And you get intuition, 22, a master number, the master builder number, the most powerful master builder number about love and compassion. This is building something real. This, you guys, is very real. Trust your intuition. Trust your dreams. High priestess energy. At the bottom of the deck, you get rebirth. So this is like, this is going to be a tower moment. But spirit wants you to let whatever this karmic completion, whatever this hierophant energy, whatever this contract is, spirit wants you to let it fall and go with the flow because the phoenix will rise from the ashes. I'm kind of understanding why I got out of bed here <laughs> to do this reading. Oh my gosh. You guys trust the messages. Trust the messages. The Hierophant card is also, you know, they're telling me to talk to you about faith, about having faith in this. Gratitude. Pray for what you need, but be grateful for what you have already received. Yeah, for many of you, your prayers are being answered. For many of you, you've been praying to, for clarity, but you've also been tr praying. Sorry, I can't speak. I'm tripping over my words. You've been praying for this Empress energy. This is the Divine Feminine. This is to receive your answered prayers. Remember, if you're in this process, and I know all week I've been talking about Law of Attraction, but it just keeps coming up. Gratitude. Be grateful for what you have already received. Be grateful for the messages and the clarity that are co that's coming to you. I just want to peek. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, you might be leaving, you know, you might be leaving maybe, you know, a well-paying job behind to continue your higher calling. But for many of you, you're leaving something that previously provided you stability and it may be a relationship that had run its course and it doesn't necessarily mean you're jumping from one person to the next but you understand this ten of pentacles this is home this is family this is stability you know this can be one of my marriage cards as well look at that and death underneath there there's that scorpionic energy somebody resisting change but this is where this rebirth comes and you get the lovers there's that twin flame that soulmate energy and the Ten of Wands. <laughs> and the Temperance card. Some of you might have, oof, some of you are dealing with fire signs. Okay, but the Temperance card, trusting your intuition, being a bridge between, the, between worlds. Many of you are healers and psychics, empaths, tarot readers. But all of you are receiving clarity and downloads through the dream space is what I'm picking up on, or through meditation or through prayer. You're receiving the signs and the synchronicities from your angels, but you're releasing, you need to release some sort of burden. We have, you know, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands in reverse. It may not look like the logical choice. It's definitely not the quote-unquote safe choice, but it is the most important choice you will make, and you've been resisting it. You've been resisting this rebirth, resisting this change, probably because of other people's expectations or because the, the lessons that needed to be learned from this situation haven't quite been learned yet, but that's all going to fall into place because you guys, you get happy, 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 be grateful, pray for what you need and be grateful for what you have already received. I really hope this gets to the person it was meant to. I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening and have a beautiful day. Take care.